Hello everyone, welcome to this example video on the linearity principle. So in this problem we will be looking at the application of linearity in determining an output voltage Vx. So the question reads as follows. Use the linearity principle to determine Vx when A Vs is 10 volts and B Vs is 2 volts. So we're going to start off with the first scenario in A, where we know that Vs is 10 volts. And we will then determine the value that's required for the Vx that's, re that's uh, in question. Before we start, um, we, it's always important to see whether you can simplify the circuit before you do any calculations. And if we look at the circuit, we can see that there's a 12 ohm in parallel with a 4 ohm, and um, there's not really any current output that we require from there. So we could put these together in parallel to simplify the circuit, and we're gonna do just that. So the circuit will then be simplified. That will be 10. 12 in parallel with 4 should give you 3 ohms, so that'll be 3, that's 9, that's 5, and that's 10 volts, which is our Vs. So we will now assume a voltage, so I'm going to assume Vx equals to 9 volts. So if I've got 9 volts there, that tells me that my current, I will then equal to 9 over 9, which gives me 1 amp. And the current flowing there will also be 1 amp, which means the voltage drop across there, V will give me 3 times 1, which gives me 3 volts. So if this is my ground point, I increase from 0 by 9 to get to positive 9. I increase again by 3 to get here to positive 12 volts. And if I want to calculate the current flowing down there, that current will be 12 divided by, let's call it Ix, will be 12 divided by 10, which gives you 1.2 amps. So I've got 1,2 amps going in to there. I've got 1 amp going in there, which tells me that the current going in there should be, I'm going to call it IF, should be 1,2 plus 1, which gives you 2,2 amps. Now I need to get the voltage at this point, and the voltage at this point is Vs. So what I can do is I can write the current expression. So the current flowing in this direction, IF, which we saw, which we calculated to be 2,2, two, it's gonna give me the voltage before, which is Vs, minus the voltage after, which is 12, over the resistance, which is five. So then I can calculate Vs, which will be five times 2.2, which gives me 11 plus 12. And that then gives us a Vs value that is equal to 23 volts. Now we will compare. So we will say Vx versus Vs. I assumed 9 volts and I got 23 volts, but the actual value is 10 volts. So what is the required Vx value? And I will then just divide x divided by 9. It's going to give me 10 over 23. And I calculate the value of x. And the value of x will be 10 times 9 divided by 23. So I get a value of x equals 3,91.
which tells me that vx will give me 3 comma 9 1 box. Now what about the second part of this question? The second part of this question says if the voltage is now equal to 2 volts, so if vs is equal to 2 volts, so do we need to redo this whole problem and recalculate? Certainly not because uh, linearity states that there's a linear relationship between voltage and current. So we've already calculated the relationship, right? We know that Vx and Vs, when I assumed 9 volts, I got 23 volts. So this ratio won't change. But what's changed is the source value, which is now 2 volts. And I can now calculate x from that changed source value. So I can say x over 9 is equals to 2 over 23. And x will then give me 9 times 2 divided by 23. And that gives me a value of 0, 0,78 volts. Therefore, Vx is going to give me 0, 0,78 volts. Thank you for watching and enjoy the course.